I'm Dan Shapiro. I'm the United States Ambassador to Israel. I've had the privilege uh, to serve in that role for five and a half years uh, since uh, President Obama asked me to come here. The job of U.S. Ambassador to Israel was a job I was preparing for my whole life, uh, even though I didn't know it. Uh, it was a job that I really was, uh, that was really was meant for me and I was meant for it. So it's much more than a job for me. Uh, it's very personal. There's nothing quite like uh, the pride and the, uh, uh, and the feeling that I uh, got from uh, representing my country uh, to a great partner and close ally that I care very deeply about and my family cares very deeply about. Anytime I will walk into a school or a college in a place that has no reason to ever expect an American ambassador to walk in. I feel like uh, I have touched uh, the cords I wanted to touch, the helping parts of Israeli society who don't know the United States as well as some others do, and who we don't know as well as we know others. Uh, find their connection to the U.S. Israel relationship. Look, no ambassador or any government official uh, ever really finishes the work. Uh, we're relay runners. This is how President Obama describes himself and, and all of us who serve in public service. Obviously, we set as a goal to try to help negotiate peace between Israelis and Palestinians, between Israel and all of its Arab neighbors. Of course, uh, we feel uh, regret that we haven't been as successful uh, on that front uh, as we would have liked, and there are many reasons for it. Uh, but that too is work left undone for the next uh, team, uh, working together with Israeli partners and others uh, to try to achieve. Well, I have lots of uh, mementos. Uh, I've got a great bottle of a David Sling uh, interceptor missile uh, right there. Uh, I'm very, very proud of the role uh, that I played to expand uh, Iron Dome and the other missile defense programs that uh, have proven to be absolutely life-saving uh, to Israelis. Uh, and we're doing the same things uh, with David Sling and with Arrow 3 uh, and now with tunnel technology. Uh, I'm very, very proud uh, of that contribution and uh, I think it's something that uh, will make a difference very far into the future. Uh, my family and I have been uh, truly blessed by the relationships we forged with President Perez and President Rivlin and the, uh, the close uh, and warm uh, relationships between our families. Of course, work closely uh, with the Prime Minister and his national security advisors, uh, each of whom I consider to be a good friend. I wear on my lapel of every suit this pin. The, uh, American and Israeli flags together. Um, and that says it all to me. That's the definition of this job. I was proud every day to put on uh, a jacket with this lapel pin, uh, and it represents something very specific about the role of the U.S. ambassador. For them, this has been a uh, truly uh, foundational part of their lives. Uh, they speak beautiful Hebrew. Uh, they know their way around the country. Uh, they uh, will always feel connected here. Uh, and for Julie, she has flourished as, as a spokesperson uh, for the United States, as an ambassador in her own right. I'll tell you what I uh, love about uh, the Israeli people that I'll miss when uh, I don't get to experience it, and that is uh, the way they talk Dugri. Uh, I love that any Israeli and it doesn't matter who they are or where they're from, if they're a prime minister or a member of Knesset or a minister, or if they're a student or if they're a taxi driver or if they uh, serve falafel and the falafel stand, uh, they're going to tell me exactly what they think. No Israeli has ever hesitated to have a totally honest uh, conversation with me, uh, and I really, really appreciate that.